So uh, excited about the division win uh, yesterday, and uh, you know, great going into the bye week. Uh, you know, the guys are we're certainly excited. You guys saw that the video of that last night, and uh, you know, really this bye week's about rest and recovery for those guys. Um, they've all met with the performance staff uh, prior to leaving, and uh, they have a plan. Uh, for each guy to make sure that they're all squared away for that rest and recovery and come back um, at their maximum health they can have physically and mentally. Um, so that's a big part of this bye week. You know, it's a little different when it happens this late. You know, I know we had the two mini buys, uh, which was good to have. You know, those 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 mini buys are good, but this bye week is uh, is certainly beneficial for us uh, leading into these last uh, you know games that we have. Um, you know, as regards to last night. Um, you know, just want to credit again to the whole football team, you know, for the resolve that we had, um, you know, being able to uh, finish that game off the right way and certainly had some adversity at the end of the game. Um, you know, I credit uh, Cairo, you know, missing that first field goal and coming back, uh, his resolve in that. Uh, certainly for the for the offense, you know, having the two fumbles at the end and being able to uh, have the mental focus and the determination to take that two-minute drive down there and get us in scoring position uh, to win the game. And then the defense, you know, the defense, the way they played all night. And, uh, you know, they had a tough situation at the very end there to go, uh, you know, get them to fourth and ten uh, to, to force that punt at the very end. So that was really cool to watch those guys do that. And uh, just the whole group coming together. And, you know, from what happened to the week before, um, you know, and the way we came together on Monday and put our eyes forward to the next opponent and to be able to do that um, going into the bye week with a win uh, and win in that way, in that fashion, um, is a big step for our football team, a big step for us uh, as the Chicago Bears. And uh, so certainly excited about that. And uh, the health of the team is good. Uh, we feel really good where, where most people are. And, uh, you know, We'll see where that is. The guys will come back in on Monday. We'll check in on them, make sure they're all set, and uh, we'll go from there. But, uh, again, we got uh, Detroit coming up, and that'll be our main focus as we get going. Um, obviously a good opponent, and we'll look forward to that and we're excited about that. But uh, with that, I'll open up to questions. What's the prognosis on Stevenson? Yeah, we'll see where it is with him. But, uh, you know, he tweaked his, 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 uh, his foot um, on the turf. You know, he made a really, really nice interception, you know, in the red zone seven on seven, and uh, he tweaked it. Uh, but we, uh, we're we hopeful. We feel pretty good about where he is. You expect him back this year? This year? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I know you talked last night about the, the horizontal passing game and kind of the way you guys use that to combat the Vikings blitz. What about what the Vikings do kind of prevent you from attacking, like, short, intermediate, middle, you know, with slants or, or, or kind of some of those quick routes in the middle of the field? Yeah, I mean, they, they, they pack the paint, so to speak. Um, you know, some of their coverages are, you know, where it's three deep and they got, you know, two guys in the middle. You know, so really the open open spots on a lot of those are the perimeter. And you certainly can hit some side high, high side pockets on those, which we did with DJ um, a couple times. You know, but, uh, you know, certainly they, they, they give those things away. You know, you just got to do a real good job of spitting the ball out there you know, blocking well on the perimeter, which we did at times. You know, you saw DJ get a couple nice runs there uh, towards our bench. Uh, there was a couple times. Uh, but that's where really where you can take advantage of it. On Montez's, uh, the sack in the first quarter, where he was credited for, like, the whole sack, not the half one, it, him and Ngakwe were aligned together. Yeah. Has having him here, has that allowed you to get more creative with any of, like, the stunts or any of the pressures that you're asking your guys up front to do? Yeah, uh, Travis Smith, uh, uh, that was his idea to put those guys on the same side and uh, run that little pick stunt that we had. Uh, we ran it a couple of times. We lined up in that same alignment, did a couple other things out of that, had a nice, uh, I think, third or fourth down stop out of that same alignment but a different pressure. Um, but, yeah, you definitely need to do that. You know, anytime you can get a mismatch and put, you know, guys, him on a particular side, you're doing that for a, a particular mismatch uh, or – you're creating an advantage for somebody else somewhere else. Um, you know, so that's that's the benefit of having a player like that. Matt, to, to Kevin's question, when you rewatched the game, were you satisfied with, with the way the game plan unfolded with the passing game? Did you want to, to mix in some more 
downfield <coughs> shots, or how did you see it when you went back through it? Yeah, I mean, you're always wanting more chunks. You know, explosive plays are where it's at. I think we had eight explosives, which is, you know, where we're at uh, in terms of goal-wise. But, you know, we certainly, when you're playing a team that pressures that way and they're vulnerable in the coverage, um, I believe that we should have more. Um, and, uh, you know, we're always looking to get that. But uh, certainly we had some opportunities um, to hit some more of those, and uh, we want to take advantage of those. I know you talked about Roshan a little bit last night, but to put a rookie in a position where he's pass blocking against that sort of blitz, why were you confident to do it? And is this something that the, that the timeshare is going to be like this going forward, or is it going to be a game to game basis? Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, Roshan did a nice job, uh, you know, for the most part. You know, there was a couple, couple hiccups in there. Um, you know, the one sack that we did take uh, with the edge pressure, you know, he's just got to be more inside and firm. And, uh, you know, he'll learn that as he goes. You know, he's, he's still a rookie, and he's got a lot of situations that he hadn't seen yet um, in real time in game situations. So, but uh, he's a heck of a worker, uh, super smart, tough. He's real tough, tough guy. And uh, he's, he's one of our better protectors, you know, so he'll continue to work on that. But uh, in terms of your second part of your question, you know, uh, we're always going to look at the practice. We're always going to look at production. And uh, it's always going to be based upon that. Health-wise, is Khalil – where you want him to be? What's that? Health wise, is, is Herbert? Where yeah. You want him to be? Yeah, he's he's right where he needs to be in terms of his health. Uh, we feel good about that. What did you think about the Vikings going forward on that fourth and seven? Were you surprised by that? Uh, no. Um, you, you're always ready for him to go. You know, I'm I'm talking to a bunch of different people on the headset. You know, based on the probabilities of them going for that. You know, on third down. So I'm always set for the fourth down call. Um, but uh, yeah, I never surprised by that. We're always ahead of that. When you talk about capitalizing, the offense capitalizing off the turnovers, that uh, off of Jalen's interception, the two penal- O-line penalties right away, and then the third down throw where Mooney looked like he was open enough to make, you know, for Justin to connect with him, which part of that, I guess, needs to be cleaned up more? Like the pe- It seems like the self-inflicted stuff, but also a throw that Justin probably should be able to make. And that's- yeah, uh, I'm going to go back one step uh, there, then I'll answer your question. Uh, the interception should have been, you know, a great return. You know, and we got to we got to really do a good job. Uh, the guys did a good job. We know that's a wall return up the numbers and a really good block by uh, Eddie Jackson on the antenna receiver. You know, everybody knows that you block the antenna receiver first. Right. And he did a really good job with that. And there's a couple other blocks. You know, uh, Maine was in position. Um, you know, Brisker was in position for that wall return, you know, and Jalen's got to just take that thing right up the sideline there. Um, and you take it up the numbers so you have the ability to bend it and have more space. You got that yards from the numbers to the sideline to really create more space for yourself. So that's number one. And we should have it in a better feel, better position for our offense. You know, and then uh, to answer your question was, uh, you know, it's it's not what you want, of course. You know, it's, and it's disappointing to be able to move backwards, you know, when you have that. And we have to capitalize on, on that momentum and those uh, situations where, our team has built momentum, and we got to seize the momentum at that point. And that's either, um, you know, obviously we want touchdown first, and you know, field goal second. And uh, and to have negative plays by t- by either a TFL sack or penalty is is not uh, desired. Matt, what happened with uh, Tevin on the, that field goal where he was had to come out for a couple series? Uh, for Tevin. Yeah, um, there was no – we didn't have to turn anything in. I don't think there was anything there. I don't know. I asked the medical guys afterward, and, uh, again, I don't have any clarity on that right now. The leg thing just kind of, kind of looked like from the way you've been. You know yeah, what? again, I don't, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. He, they, they, I asked him, is he okay? And he said, yeah, he's good. So that's all I got. Man, what did you see What did you see on Justin's fumbles? What actually went wrong on those plays for him from a ball control standpoint? Yeah, yeah. the one was what we talked about earlier was the one protection, uh, you know, Roshan came across to block the edge. And, um, you know, I thought he could have been just, you know, a little bit more uh, um, poised uh, back there, a little bit calmer in his demeanor. Um, he felt the pressure, and that's really a function of the protection a little bit because Roshan, like I said, needed to be firmer on that side. Uh, block on the edge, and uh, he stepped up um, um, right away. Like I said, he had two hands on the ball. I thought it was a good play by the defensive end to strip it. Uh, so that was that one. Um, you know, and then the second one when he took off to run, I thought it was a good decision. <clears throat> Take off to run. There was a huge gap in the middle of the defense and a lot of space, um, you know, for the situation. 
And uh, as he gets into traffic, he's got to put his class pen over the ball. And uh, he didn't do that. And I thought the defender made a really nice play. He put his hat on the football, and it came out. Man, I don't, I don't, know, if you're into, I don't know if you're into numbers or stats, but your defense is now ninth uh, in yards, but uh, which is obviously obviously a sign of improvement. But you're also 28th in points, which is kind of an unusual disparity. Like I said, I don't know if you're into numbers, but what does that disparity mean to you? To you know, what what does that say to, about where your defense is right now? With, yeah. Yeah, so it's really, a, you know, of course, defensive coach, uh, you know, looks at it. You know, the non, non-traditional non touchdowns, you take those away um, and look at the numbers there. It's probably a little bit better. It's a lot better. Um, so defense is scored on – it's touchdown scored on our defense. Um, is is right in the middle of the pack. Um, you know, but we got to do a better job in the red zone too. You know, you know we got to own that. Um, and it's really third down. You know, in the red zone, we got to do a better job. So, again, this this whole thing is uh, for us is a self scout uh, operation here during this week, and we're going to look at every every aspect of our football team, uh, all the situations uh, to improve. But uh, I like where our defense is right now uh, in a lot of ways. Um, we're building momentum. Uh, the guys are coming together, and uh, you can certainly feel that. Um, um, everybody can feel that, and it's uh, it's going to be something to watch here in the next five games. I saw the video of you addressing the team, and we also got to see Justin kind of step in and thank his teammates for kind of having his back in those tough situations. Yeah. That's stuff you get to see a lot, but we don't get to see Justin in those moments. What did you make of the way that he just kind of took that response? Yeah, it was uh, – for him to stand up there uh, and to do that in that moment, I think that's special. And it says a lot about his character and about, about, about his leadership. And uh, it was really neat to see. And the response of the guys, you know, was also really cool to see too. And that was a cool moment.